Hi friends, welcome back to Learn and Explore. Today, in this video, I am going to discuss with you all how to print an AutoCAD drawing in different page sizes and how to choose a different scaling system for plotting our drawing. Okay, so without wasting much time, I am going to start my video. Before going to start my video, if you are new to our channel, please do subscribe our channel and if you think that this video will help you, please do like, comment and share with others so that others also can get help from our video. Let's start. Here you can see our AutoCAD drawing in our window. Right. Now I will going to plot this win uh, window drawing in different different page size and accordingly their different uh, accordingly choose for their different scale plotting scale okay to print this i have to click ctrl p for plotting here you can see a plot model dialog bar okay here i'm going to printer and plotter section click on it here i'm choosing dwg to PDF as I don't have any printer attached with my PC right now. For that, I am choosing DWG to PDF and it will save in PDF format. And we can print this out later. Okay. And if you have printer attached with your PC, you don't need to choose DWG to PDF. You can directly print this according to your page size and uh, with your connected printer okay now i'm choosing dwg to pdf now i'm going to paper size as i told before i will print this first in a3 paper size okay for this i'm choosing iso a3 okay here you can see two type of page size you can choose any one okay now i'm going to plot area what to plot click on it go to window here you can see your drawing window. Now you have to click corner to corner. Uh, before clicking this, you have to remember that your snap mode is on. This is object snap is on for your AutoCAD. Okay. If object snap is not on, you have to on it. Now uh, if, uh, for that, you can choose perfectly uh, you can select perfectly corner okay click on it and go to bottom corner or whatever you switch you okay click on it now you can see the preview here as we can see some of the drawing portion is out of our boundary area right so again i'm going to my plot model click on center the plot again seeing our preview here you can see our drawing is perfectly fit into our chosen page size okay again here i'm going to plot scale this is what i'm talking about okay this plot scale is very important thing for Printing our drawing perfectly. Right. Here you can see it is already checked on fit to paper. That means whatever your drawing is, it will automatically fit your drawing in this. You are choosing paper size. And for this, here you can see the unit 1 is to 1.505. That means 1 millimeter of your drawing represent 1.505 meter of your filled area okay but we know that uh, when whenever we determine the scale value we have to keep both the drawing scale and the plot scale as same that means we have this scale is 1 is to 1505 but we certainly we don't use this, this kind of scale we use 1 is to 1500 or 1 is to 1400 or 1 is to 200 and so on but we don't use this kind of for that we have to use some round figure scale okay 
now i am click on it and show that this scale is perfectly fit our drawing into our selected page size but if we rounding of this we use 1 is to 5 that means 1 is to 1500 apply to layout and preview some of our drawing question is out of our boundary area so one thing you have to remember always use this plot scale factor more than whatever comes to your fit to paper okay that means if we use less than this our drawing will out of our selected page size but if we use more than fit to paper that means 1 1.6 you can see our drawing is perfectly fit in our drawing paper as because when we reduce the plot scale okay our drawing will enlarge and it will out of our boundary uh, page boundary area but whenever we enlarges the plot scale our drawing will drawing scale will reduce and it will fit to our selected page size right so always uh, remember that whatever our fit to paper size is we have to keep our plot scale more than that for perfectly fitting our drawing into our selected page size right one more thing is if we use portrait here you can see our drawing is perfectly fit but if we have a landscape mode you can see our drawing is not perfectly fit into our paper so you have to keep in mind and check it whether our drawing is perfectly switched for portrait mode or landscape mode right now i am previewing this and you can see our drawing is perfectly all right for our selected page size now i am going to click okay and here the annotation scale is not equal to the plot scale so you want to continue yes continue now here you can choose your folder for saving it now i am naming it a3 print paper okay and save it into my folder in this way you can print same drawing in different type of page sizes and choose the plot scale according to that here you can see our same drawing will be plotted in a2 paper size and a3 paper size both and if you want you can print the same drawing in a4 or a3 uh, a4 or a2 or so many scale types right you have to choose perfect scale and perfect plot size for your drawing hope you understand how i am doing this here i am also showing you a a4 also you can also print this into a4 okay so if you use a4 here our scale is a larger that means 1 is 1 mm represent 2.256 meter in field okay so if you preview it preview it okay you can see this now in this way you can use different type of page size and print your same drawing in different different page sizes according to your different plot scale hope you understand how i am doing this if you have any question regarding this in your mind please feel free to ask and we will definitely answer your question and uh, uh, if you think that this video really helps you please make a comment for us uh, and
थैंक यू थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग थैंक यू